In this video I want to show you how you can create your JavaScript library using TypeScript, then transpile it first of all to CommonJS, then to ECMAScript 6 modules and publish on NPM. So what is the problem in creating library? Actually publishing a folder with some scripts on NPM is super easy. But the main problem is that we have two module systems inside JavaScript. We have CommonJS and we have ECMAScript 6 modules. And some projects might want to use your library inside Node.js and in some projects maybe your library will be used on the client inside browser. Which actually means the main problem is that we must transpile our libraries into different versions. And maybe later in even 3 or 4 if it will be needed. It is all possible. For this task we could use Babel, because it is really nice to transpile from Babel in any possible modular system, but I will use here TypeScript. Why TypeScript? First of all, because nowadays we are creating more and more projects by using TypeScript, and secondly, inside configuration of TypeScript, we can simply provide in what modular system we want to transpile our TypeScript code. This is why here, as you can see, I am inside empty folder, and I want to create a new directory. So here let's name it jslib and it will be our new JavaScript library. Now here let's open it and as you can see I don't have any folders at all. So what I want to do here is open an editor and here create a new folder which is called source. This is where all our code will be written. And let's say that we want to create some library with helpers for any project. Let's say we want to implement just a single helper here for arrays which is called plug. And the main idea of this method will be to map our array by a specific field. This is why here inside source, first of all I want to create index.ts. But here we won't store anything. Now here I want to create new folder array and inside I want to create plug.ts. So the main idea is we have a nice structure. Inside source we can create different folders like array, object, string, number and so on. And here we are talking about array and we are implementing a new method plug inside it. For this here we can export our new method which is called plug and here as an argument we are getting first of all elements and secondly field. And actually in this example I won't type anything with TypeScript just because the purpose of this video is different. But obviously in a real scenario, when I'm creating a library with TypeScript, it will be typed fully. So here we are getting our elements, which is an array, and the field that we want to get. Now here we can simply return our elements.map, we are getting access to every single element, and here we are just taking element field. Which actually means if we are getting array of users like this, so we have our array with user, and inside we have field for example name foo, and then we use our plug here, so actually it will be plug, inside we are passing our elements and the next parameter will be name. So this is the field that we want to map. In this case what we will get back is array of names, which actually means here will be just foo. So this is how our function is working and let's say that we implemented the first step of our library and now we want to prepare it for publishing. Now we want to leverage our index.ts because actually this is our source of truth. This is where we export everything which can be used outside of our library. So here we can write export, here we are getting our plug from array slash plug. This is really nice because in this case everything is private and only things which we are exporting here will be available for us. Now inside our root folder I want to create tsconfig.json and actually for TypeScript we must provide a configuration how we need to transpile our files from TypeScript to JavaScript. For example we can transpile it by using different modular system, we can also transpile it in different version of JavaScript. This is the config that I want to paste inside tsconfig. And actually here we have just two things. First of all compiler options, this is the configuration of TypeScript and secondly what files we must include. And here we simply say include everything from source. And inside compiler options the most interesting options for us are module ECMAScript 6, which actually means we want to transpile our code using ECMAScript 6 modules. And secondly out directory, and here we are providing dist slash lib slash ECMAScript 6 
which actually means inside this folder, our library, which will be generated for publishing, will be generated inside library folder. And there inside we will create two different folders, ECMAScript 6 and ECMAScript 5. ECMAScript 5 will be used with CommonJS. And this is what we need to do now. Here near tsconfig.json, I want to create one more file, tsconfig.es5.json. And here inside we want to generate exactly the same config, but for CommonJS. Here what we are pasting, exactly the same include, but here module is CommonJS, which actually means in this way we are using it inside Node.js. And here our out directory will be this slash lib slash ECMAScript 5. Now here inside our root folder I already prepared package.json. Why is that? Because here we must provide some links. As you can see I have a link to repository, author, license and scripts. Why I did that? Because actually we will publish our library and we will publish this whole library inside GitHub, which actually means we must provide some information for people who will download our repository or use our library. And actually here I don't have anything and we are just interested in scripts. So what we want to create here is a new script which will be called compile. And this script will prepare for us two builds, once for CommonJS, once for ECMAScript 6 modules. So first of all I want to remove our dist slash lib, because actually it might be that we generated something there previously and we must be sure that it will work. This is why we completely remove dist lib, now end, and here is tsc. What is tsc? It is a command to run TypeScript, and by default TypeScript will use this tsconfig.json, which actually means the config for our ECMAScript 6 modules. So this command will transpile our sources to ECMAScript 6 modules. But after this we must call this command again, so here is end, tsc, and here we want to provide a build, and after this we are providing config file, so here will be tsconfig.ecmascript5.json, which actually means this part will generate for us our ECMAScript 6 module, and this part will generate for us our CommonJS modules. And the last thing that we must do is install TypeScript here. This is why inside console we can simply write npm install TypeScript and we want to install it as a dev dependency, this is why minus d. As you can see now in package.json we have TypeScript, this is why this command tsc will be available for us inside our package.json. Now let's try to use this command, so npm run and here will be compile. As you can see it took some time but now it is ready. Let's check what is happening. First of all here we have now a dist folder. And inside we have a lib folder with two additional folders, ECMAScript 6 and ECMAScript 5. Inside ECMAScript 6 we have here index.js file, which is just export plug, which actually means it didn't change anything. And here inside array we have our plug.js, which actually means it was successfully transpiled. But now if we will jump inside ECMAScript 5, this is for common JS, here inside index.js you can see this declaration. And the most important part for us is that we can see here require word. Require will work inside common JS, which actually means this module is prepared successfully. And here inside array we can see our transpiled code, so we don't have TypeScript anymore, we have a plain JavaScript. But it is not all, we also must create a package.json for our library. This is why inside our dist folder I want to create package.json. Why is that? Because actually this package.json here on the outside, this is for our github repository. And what we will publish inside npm is this package.json here. So we will publish a package from dist folder and it will have this lib inside. And now inside this package.json I want to paste a lot of stuff. So here first of all is name, and this is extremely important because this is our name for npm. And as you can see here I have this nice prefix at mla. Why I am doing it like this? Because actually all names inside npm registry must be unique. For example here I can't write utils, because actually this library already exists and we can't use this name. This is why the common practice is to prefix everything with add and some name. And for example you can see it really often with angular, you have here like add angular slash core for example. This is why here we prefixed the name with add mla, now slash and here is the name of our repository. 
Here is our version, description, main and module. And these two lines are extremely important for us, because actually when somebody will install our library as a node module, then he will have these two lines inside, main and module. And actually main is used by CommonJS, which actually means at the moment when he is writing require MLA utils, he will use this line and load this script, which is here inside lib ECMAScript 5 index.js. And here we have require, this is totally fine. But if he is using a modular system, then this line will work. And here we have lib ECMAScript 6 slash index.js. Here we have normal imports and exports. After this here I have a standard stuff like repository, files, keywords, author, license, bugs URL and homepage URL. And all this stuff you can see here on the right in any package inside npm. Our next step here will be to create a git repository and push the whole repository inside git. But actually what I want to do first, I want to create a git ignore file. And we want to ignore here at least node modules, but also dist, but not the whole dist, but only dist slash lib, because we don't really want to ignore this dist package JSON. This is what we need to be pushed, because we will use it every single time when we want to publish a package. Now I will jump inside console and write here git status. As you can see I'm getting a message that this is not a git repository. This is why I will open here my github and create here a new repository. For example let's name it utils and we don't need to provide anything, this is simply public. I will hit here create repository and we are getting this information. So this is what we need to do if we have a new repository and this is what we need to do to push to existing. We already have a repository, this is why I will simply write here git init, it will generate a new repository with master branch, and after this we can write this line with git remote origin, and here is the correct path. After this we can check our changes. As you can see here we have git ignore, dist, package log, package json and everything is fine. So I will simply add all these files and commit, so here git commit minus am, and here is created lib. Now we can push to our repository, so here I am writing git push origin master and I am hitting enter. And as you can see my branch was successfully pushed, now I can reload this page and I am getting here our files inside github. What is also important, we didn't push our node modules and inside dist we simply have this package json. This is exactly what we wanted. Our last step will be to publish a library to npm. This is why inside console we can simply jump inside dist because we are interested in this package JSON and this library. And here we can write now npm publish and we will for sure get an error because we are not authorized. As you can see here we are getting a message need auth, this commands require you to be authorized. And we can write here npm add user to be authorized. This is why here I will simply paste this command and here we are getting first of all username. As you can see here you must provide your username, password, your email and then you will get an email from npmgs.org where you must also get this number and paste it inside as a one-time password. After this you are logged in and you can publish your package. This is why here let's try again, we are writing npm publish and we are hitting enter. But as you can see it still doesn't work because we are getting a message, payment required, you must sign up for private packages. But we don't want a private package. This is why here we can write npm publish minus minus access equals public. In this case we will publish our package as a public package, which is totally fine. You might get here an error 403 forbidden. And typically it happens if the name that you used inside your package JSON already exists. And actually here before I wrote at MLA slash utilities and it was already taken. This is why here I changed the name and after this published again. And as you can see now I don't have any errors. And here we are getting a message that it was successfully published. And now we can copy paste this name and just put it inside searching packages. I am hitting here enter and as you can see this is our package that was just published. Here we don't have a readme, but the links here on the right are totally correct. We can hit here repository and we are jumping inside github. But now the moment of truth is to install this package and try to use it. This is why here I can write npm install and this is our package. Monster Lessons Academy slash utilities. 
It is successfully installed and we can see it inside node modules, Monster Lessons Academy, Utilities. And the main point is that here, first of all, we want to check it with CommonJS. This is why here I want to create new file server.js and then inside I want to require this package. So here I want to get a plug method and here is our require from our node modules and here is add monster lessons academy slash utilities. Now let's just try to use it. So here we will write console log and we want to call plug on our array of users. And for example, here we have a user with name foo and the next one will be a user with name bar. And the second argument after our array will be a name. Now let's try to start our server. So here I simply write node server.js and we're getting our output, which actually means our package successfully works for common chess. And here in every project we can simply require it and it will work inside Node.js. But we didn't test our frontend part. This is why what I want to do, I want to jump in console and write here npm install parcel. And this package is successfully installed. If you don't know what is parcel, this is a zero configuration bundler similar to Webpack, which actually means it will prepare our build for the client. So what we want to do now here, we want to create new file and name it client.js. Now here inside I pasted exactly the same code like we had inside server.js, but with usage of imports. And as you can see, this is exactly the same package and here inside console log we have exactly the same plug. But client.js is not enough, we also need index.html. And here is just a simple index.html where inside body we just have this script client.js that we just created. Most importantly we have here type module because we must tell parcel that we want to load the module and it will bundle it correctly. Now we can jump inside our package JSON and here inside scripts we can create new script, for example parcel and here we just call our parcel with index.html and it will do everything correctly for us. So here I will simply write npm run parcel and as you can see it will compile everything correctly and after this start our web server for index.html. As you can see it is successfully built, we can open this page localhost 1234 and here inside console we see our array, which actually means our library is working simultaneously on the client and on the server. And if you're interested to learn how to upload files to your website, make sure to check this video also.